Throughout the course of our lives, there might not be a better way to describe our experiences as that of a roller coaster, whether it be triumphs or losses, positive or negative emotions. Life is anything but a straightforward or linear line moving through space. It's constantly moving up and down. In essentially any situation, we can constantly find ourselves in doubt, being uncertain of what our next step should be. For example, the last year for me has been fantastic, at least in a material sense. However, I still find myself unsure as to what to do next, what steps to take. Even though I know I'm doing relatively well, this uncertainty still lingers in my mind and can be very damaging for my mental clarity. On the other hand, I've also found myself in moments past where life was not going well at all. There was nothing I could hang my hat on, or at least I thought so, and there was really no direction for me. I had no clue where to look. I could not conjure up any way out of this. It felt as if I was stuck in the mud, and that there'd have to be some sort of miracle to make my way out of what one could only really call a dubious position in life. So we find ourselves in this situation no matter our circumstances in life, no matter how rational or irrational we are at any given moment, no matter our financial, physical, or mental situations, no matter someone's age too, someone who's younger might have doubts about their future, what their career will look like, or what just their general life will look like. On the flip side of the coin, someone who's a bit older might start fearing death, then might be uncertain as to what's gonna come next. The thought of doubt, of indecision, creeps in and reveals an insecurity about where to go from here and we don't know how to handle it. It too should be said here that this can happen no matter your religious beliefs. Some people might have a God that they can pray to and fall back on. And while that certainly helps for others, it's ultimately up to the individual to make a decision to step out of the mud. How does one overcome the uncertainty, the doubt? Well, the first step, and any Stoic philosopher will tell you this, is to simply accept the doubt or the uncertainty, whatever you might want to call it. We must realize that this will happen throughout the course of our whole lives. Coming to terms with truths like these can take someone a long way, as what is shown is that we can only control so much, and especially younger people struggle with this. We want the whole world in our hands, but we have to remember that we have to get ourselves under wraps first before we can set our sights on external things. We may struggle to comprehend the nearly immeasurable perceived time in our lives, but understanding that doubt will remain throughout the course of our lives is a huge first step in simply dealing with it. Any person who's moderately successful in the fitness world will be able to tell you the next tip, and that is, we can't be too hard on ourselves. Yes, it's great to be disciplined, but setting lofty goals for ourselves can often backfire, as we might not accomplish our lofty goals that we set for a day or a week or a month, whatever it may be, and so, once we don't accomplish those goals, we feel terrible about ourselves. A pattern that arises whereby a person is never really accomplishing much in their view, as they're not achieving all of those goals. And so the person becomes seriously unmotivated. Therefore, say we don't accomplish maybe one or two things throughout the day, week, or month. It's better to focus on the good that we've done rather than the negative, as focusing only on the negative will be negative. Many times we reflect on our day and we become unsure as to what to do the next day and so on because we didn't achieve the lofty goals. But instead of this, we just have to realize that we need to readjust and tackle the things that we missed when the time is right. At this stage, it must be said that the aforementioned tips are indeed cliches and people often turn down cliches because they've heard them before or they just think that people are offering them up because they're typical pieces of advice and they're easy to come up with on the fly. However, this could come down to the fact that the person hearing and rejecting the cliches actually just doesn't want help. Therefore, a humbling realization must come about. A person must take a step back and realize that they're the only ones who can truly help themselves. Yes, it's definitely a possibility that someone could come around and help you out but it's not absolutely certain. The way out of not knowing what to do about uncertainty and doubt is through the self. It might make you feel small, but oftentimes in this world, we're all we've got. Another option an individual might pursue is that of mindfulness. And no, this isn't some zany thing where some guru comes and says that they'll give you peace of mind and ultimate zen for $10 a month. 
no, this is largely free of cost, unless you want to buy books. But you don't have to. That is Stoic philosophy. Stoic philosophy is a great tool to help getting someone back on track. One of the most famous Stoic philosophers, Marcus Aurelius, says, You always have the option of having no opinion. There is never any need to get worked up or to trouble your soul about things you can't control. These things are not asking to be judged by you. Leave them alone. While this doesn't apply to all aspects of worry, a lot of the times what we are worried about is indeed out of our control, as briefly mentioned before. It is not in our hands as to whether or not we get the job, we can only apply for it. It's not in our hands how our crush will view us, we can only be ourselves towards them. What this really boils down to is yet another cliche, we can only do what we can do. We can only try our hardest, and honestly, if we try our hardest, what's there to really be upset about? In other words, managing what is within our reach is much more productive, if you will, than trying to look at things outside of our reach. Unfortunately, these worries, while they seem worth it, are only a waste of time. I understand that many of these tips might fall short for someone who needs drastic or serious help. However, I do believe that these tips, you know, why not at least try them and see if they work for you? I think that they're a, a good sort of first step in getting back on track in life as someone who's needed that a few times before. In conjunction with everything already mentioned, there is no real reason for a person to not at least just try their hardest. There's no discernible thing out there that you can really point to to say otherwise. It's not like a world-class scientist can conduct a study on your life and ultimately tell you with data and loads of information that there's no reason for you not to try. This might be the most fundamental breakthrough, if you will, to get the person's gloomy doubt out of their way and to get them out of, out of the mud. Sure, sometimes it will definitely be harder to remember that there's no reason not to try. You know, things will get in your way, but remember the scientist. The best days of your life don't have to be a certain time. They don't have to be your high school years, your college years, your 20s, or whatnot. No, they could be your whole life. Peace and love.